Hello, everyone. Can you see my screen? Okay, thank you. Okay, today let's continue. Uh, last week we have introduced the basic uh, knowledge about the uh, Linux based operating system and also some basic uh, knowledge about the C programming. And this week uh, it is also about the C programming. And uh, here are three parts, uh, the structure uh, in C programming, the memory allocation as well as the file. And uh, uh, so uh, based on that, such three parts for C programming, I believe uh, we could uh, build our ONC project uh, in the following days. Okay, the first part, the structure. Well, firstly, to define a structure, uh, you must uh, use a structure statement. Uh, here, as shown in the uh, statement on the left, we can see that uh, for such uh, abstract, we can see that uh, if we want to define a, a structure uh, in C, uh, we first uh, need to use the statement called the struct. And then uh, the, the structure tag is optional. Uh, here, uh, it can be regarded as uh, alias of the current uh, structure, uh, called, uh, like the name of the structure. But actually it is optional, which means that you, uh, if you only use the, stru the structure for one time, and you do not need to uh, uh, give the structure name, you could neglect the, the structure tag by just uh, defining uh, the, the structure by giving one or more structure variables. Just uh, here, like if you do not want to uh, give the, the structure a name, the, the structure tag, you could give one or more structure variables just as the defined variable based on the, uh, the, the, the struct. And then here, this is a detailed example for a uh, really defined st structure. We can see that as for this structure, uh, firstly, it has a, a struct statement and then uh, the structure tag calls uh, books here. And within the structure, there are several uh, types of uh, variables like character array called title, the character array called author and subject, and also the integer called the book ID. And after that, we give the variable here called book. And based on such a variable, we could uh, uh, invoke the defined uh, structure. And actually now I want to talk about uh, uh, why we need the structure because previously uh, when you want to uh, build your ONC project like uh, uh, write several pieces of uh, code, uh, there are always some scenario that you need to uh, reuse your code like uh, uh, for some function, uh, you uh, you need to uh, give some character array and some integer as the, the input. But actually for many uh, scenarios, you need to give uh, the function the same uh, variables. And uh, if we do not use the, the, the structure here, we need to repeatedly uh, input or to say uh, give such a massive variables as input. But actually after uh, uh, defining the structure for the scenario that we need to deliver several repeated uh, uh, used uh, uh, variables, we only need to deliver the name of the structure. And based on that, uh, if the, st the structure is a global variable, the uh, function could uh, know 
uh, what happened or to the, uh, uh, the detailed content of the structure. And uh, yeah, yeah, good question, similar to object. And actually the Java is the mainly inspired, uh, inspired by the uh, structure uh, in the uh, C programming. And actually uh, what I want to say is that uh, the object or to say the class in the Java is a very kind of uh, similar to the structure in the uh, uh, C programming. But actually, uh, after uh, we expanding uh, the C into C++, the, the definition of class has appeared uh, in the C++. And uh, in C++, uh, the class is uh, kind of uh, 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 based on my understanding, I think it is just the same as the class in the, in the Java. But uh, the class in, uh, and object in the C++ also provides the pointer, which makes it uh, more flexible than that of the Java providing a uh, class. And here, yeah, we can simply imagine that the structure is kind of uh, an uh, aggregated object uh, that can be used for us to uh, build our code uh, simplify uh, or to say more straightforward. Okay, uh, here is a, a specific example for the structure. And uh, first we can see that we globally defined a structure uh, called books and we do not give the variable here because, uh, because this is the variable environment uh besides the main function so here we just give the definition of it uh such as the several uh, character arrays and uh, the integer and uh, for a specific function here uh, we can see that since the books are globally de defined so in the main function we can directly invoke the books here the the name of the structure and also uh the book one is the variable we have defined in the main function. And here, as for this example, we can see that there are two uh, objects or to say two uh, variables. Uh, they, host the, they hold the same, the, the, the same fundamental structure of uh, books. And then after that, we try to uh, uh, deliver some uh, value to the variables defined in the structures, like we uh, invoke the string copy to deliver the C programming here, the value to the book one's title, and also the, the, the value of uh, author one to the uh, book one's author and something like that. After we pollute or to say after we uh, uh, deliver the specific value to, the, to each variable of the two kinds of uh, uh, already defined structures. We can use the printf to show uh, uh, what happened after we are uh, delivering uh, such uh, values. And here, there is the result. We can see that uh, we have successfully uh, delivered such values to the struct. And uh, based on the way uh, here, defined here, we could uh, directly access uh, the variable within the book, uh, the, the, the specified structure. And then uh, we have another way to use the structure called the pointer, uh, because we know that uh, the structure can be de defined everywhere, like uh, globally or within some specific environment. But if we want to uh, access the variable within the structure, which means uh, we need to uh, like, uh, we need to uh, access the memory address of uh, such a space occupied by the, uh, such a structure. The previous way we deliver, uh, we directly uh, access the structure. It is okay, and uh, it works for almost all kinds of all kinds of uh, scenarios. But actually, if we want to uh, uh, access the structure itself, or to say we do not want to uh, access a copy of the structure, 
we want to uh, access the structure itself, a uh, preferable, uh, preferable way is to use the pointer, uh, just like here. Uh, first, uh, the, the initialization and the string copy are the same as the previous way. But here we define the print book here. And uh, the input of such a function is a uh, struct. And here we use the pointer to define it as the input. And uh, what we want to do uh, within such a function is, is that we want to uh, print out the detailed variables, the values of the detailed variables for, uh, uh, for the given uh, structure. And here we can see that uh, the input uh, invokes a pointer. And also as for uh, printf, uh, or to say uh, for the way we access the inner variable of a uh, structure, we use such a uh, symbol, not the point uh, to access the uh, real data. Well, actually here, uh, I can give you a simple, uh, Yeah, here I can give you a simple, uh, oh, where it disappeared. Okay, anyway, here uh, we first uh, declare such a uh, space. Uh, we, can we can regard it as the uh, memory space occupied by the current function. And uh, actually uh, we could define the structure or to say we can store the real data for a structure in uh, different kind, kind of uh, spaces. Like we can uh, store the structure, uh, the data of the structure here. And uh, this is a very typical way that we use to uh, store the structure. Like uh, here is uh, the structure. And here, this is the uh, function one. And uh, actually, uh, if we want to, uh, if uh, uh, another, function uh, has been invoked or to say has been initialized just uh, like the print book here. Here, uh, the, here is the func2. If func2 want to access the data stored in the, uh, yeah, here. If the function2 want to access the data uh, from the uh, 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 from the uh, structure defined in the function one, the function two need to make a copy of it to copy the data stored in uh, function one previously uh, to uh, its uh, uh, own uh, space, and then based on that, it could uh, get access to the real data of the structure. Actually, it is a kind of a uh, copy operation, but after actually after using the pointer. The pointer is uh, uh, here, the pointer, uh, uh, the, the input here is a pointer, which means the pointer is the uh, memory address of the structure. So if the function two want to access the data of, of, uh, of the structure stored in the function one space, it could directly use, uh, it could directly use the pointer to point to the st structure which means the function two do not need to maintain another copy of the structure. It could directly access such a structure. So this is the basic idea, or to say the basic difference between the pointer way and the directly access way uh, to the uh, structure. And actually uh, this is not very easy to understand, but uh, actually I think after, 
we uh, spend uh, some time uh, to practice our coding and uh, get some deeper knowledge about the C programming, we could gradually understand what happened or to see what, what's the difference between the pointer way and the, the directly access way. But here we can typically regard the pointer way as a, a, an alternative to access the data uh, from one specific uh, struct. Okay, let's continue. So uh, here, uh, the second part is the memory allocation. Uh, the memory allocation here, uh, cause, uh, because the C programming language provides uh, like several functions for memory allocation uh, and um, management. So based on that, we could uh, use some uh, uh, interface provided by the C programming or to say some uh, library to allocate our uh, own space. Uh, just uh, as the example I mentioned before, if you if you want to uh, create or to say allocate some space, uh, uh, require some memory space uh, for yourself, and uh, after your current function dies or to say the current f uh, function finished, uh, you still want to use the space. Uh, you could use the mylock, like. Uh, uh, you uh, require a series of memory space in a specific uh, uh, position or to say location in the main memory. And then based on the address of the uh, main memory space, you could, al you could al always access the data uh, from it. And uh, you should remember that uh, after the allocation, uh, after the my, my log, uh, once you do not need such a data anymore, you need to use the free to, to uh, uh, deallocate or to say release uh, such space occupied by the uh, data, data structure you have defined before. And here uh, you can find uh, here is a, a, a here is an example for the uh, my log uh, uh, or to say the memory space allocation. We can see that uh, we first uh, uh, initialize a, a character array called the name and also uh, we uh, define uh, an empty pointer, uh, empty character pointer called the description uh, without, uh, without initialization. And then we first copy the uh, Bob to the name. Uh, it, uh, it is easy to understand. And then we uh, allocate the description with uh, the type of a character and the size of uh, uh, one character multiple uh, 200, which means uh, uh, after we deploy such a uh, command, uh, we can see that the description is another character array uh, holds the 200 bytes uh, for its own space. And after that, we could use the uh, character uh, the, the, the pointer based criteria here, just as the way we used for the uh, typical character array. Uh, like uh, uh, as for this uh, uh, C, uh, uh, C programming code, the output uh, uh, after, we, after we run that, the, the, the output just like the name equals to Bob and the description shows the output uh, as the Bob uh, uh, CSE student in CHK. And uh, actually, if you want to find some detailed uh, uh, way to uh, explain the difference of a pointer and uh, directory access and also some uh, memory allocation, you could uh, uh, find here, uh, just as uh, the, the uh, reference here. And then finally, uh, such a part called the file IO. Uh, the file O give us a way to inter uh, to inter uh, interconnect uh, with the uh, auto they commute com communicate with the uh, machine because previously we can see some uh, output from the screen and uh, use the uh, and uh, input our mind by the mouse or, or by the keyboard and actually the file IO. It's the way for you to communicate with the C programming or to uh, communicate with, with, with the codes uh, you have right. 
like the the file out here uh provides several fun functions called the open read write air seek and something like that and uh, based on that and based on that you could uh, access uh, several kinds of files uh, by open it close it read it write it and also seek a specific position for the current file because uh for most cases if we want to uh like de debug our codes or uh, make some outputs of our codes and uh, uh, to evaluate uh, the effects of our uh, of our codes using the file IO is a very uh, straightforward and also efficient way. So here I uh, I uh, suppose you that you 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 could um, fully understand how to conduct the file IO. and. Uh, so here, uh, the flags on the right means some uh, flags when you open a file. Uh, you could uh, define uh, for your uh, uh, for your this time uh, file open, you only want to read this file or write this file or read and write and something like that. And based on that, the file descriptor here just uh, is the output of the open operation. And based on the type of your open operation, you could invoke the read or read or write based on your own demand. Here shows a, another very simple example, like uh, we first define uh, several character arrays, and then uh, we uh, try to open a, a, a file called my file based on such uh, types. And then we get the file descriptor. It is kind of a pointer. And then based on the FD, we can write the uh, data from buffer to the FD. And also we could seek the, the, start, the start position of uh, the file. And also uh, we could uh, read uh, the, the data from the file to the R buffer one. And here, uh, the, re the, the, the result here shows that uh, the buffer, uh, the output of buffer one and the buffer two are different, which is because before we, uh, we, we run the printf uh, R buffer two, we firstly uh, invoke the LC uh, function, which means we change our pointer, our current uh, po uh, IO pointer from the very beginning to the offset of uh, six. And uh, suppose the hello world is the only stuff in the file. The offset of six means the W here. So the R buffer two only uh, stores the word, such a uh, word. So uh, finally, I think uh, this is about, uh, after the tutorial, I need to introduce you the, 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 the the homework about our this time tutorial. So uh, as for this exercise, the deadline is after the Chinese New Year, uh, the 10th of uh, February. And as for this exercise, you need to, uh, you need only submit your exercise .c file to the Blackboard. And the detailed uh, the requirement for uh, about this exercise is very simple. Uh, they are just uh, the same procedures uh, as we mentioned before uh, in the file hour part. Uh, specifically, like uh, in the Blackboard, we have uh, uh, uploaded the required files to you and you can directly download them. And here, uh, the, the, the detailed uh, requirements that uh, there is an input file called the input.txt, uh, which contains 10 lines. And each line contains a positive in integer number, which we guarantee it is smaller than 1,000. What you need to do is to read each integer and add it by one, and write the result line by line to another file called, called the output.txt. Uh, so, uh, uh, so based on the knowledge we have, uh, about the, the, the file IO, uh, it is quite simple, just as we, uh, I have introduced to you previously. So please make sure that uh, after you have uh, some uh, uh, 
uh, knowledge about the fire out, you can uh, write your own code. And uh, uh, then uh, after you think you have covered such uh, uh, knowledge, you can, uh, you can finish such uh, exercise and uh, uh, submit it by the uh, Blackboard. And for some detailed uh, uh, information, like if you want to use other IO options, uh, like uh, you do not want to use open read and write, you could also use the S, uh, scan and the S printf and something like that. So there is the detailed uh, re re reference you could find by yourself. So I think this is the main contents about this tutorial. So are there any questions? Okay, I found many uh, private message. Okay, so if there is no other questions, I will mute myself and uh, type the answer through the checkbox to you uh, one by one, okay? <laughs>